hey what's up guys welcome to another video with your boy chance yeah guys i uh, want to give you guys a little update on the bmw e30 we did a few things on the car boys and girls i don't know if you guys have seen it already on social media i haven't really posted so much about it but there's a few additions to the e30 boys and girls first off i think you guys can see it mr jermaine helped us source out the, uh, the extended lip for the e30 so that's one sick addition to the car and I've decided to add the front mud flaps guys but I still have to work on them I don't know if you guys can see it properly from this angle but I think I have to just trim the bottom part of the mud flaps just so that it doesn't rub or sit the way it does because I'm afraid that one day it might even pop off like you guys can see over there the car looks sick we also were able to sort out the fog lights boys and girls though it's still sitting a bit off but now it's working i just need to get the rubber seal around it i don't know where i'll get that but that's a struggle for another day boys and girls overall i like how the car sits or how the car looks with all the problems that we tried to sort out and the additions that we did to the car boys and girls but i know you guys have been expecting oh the sun is actually hitting guys but i know you guys are expecting another video of the bmw e36 project car however guys i'm still looking to source a few more parts uh, I need a, a bonnet as well as uh, the cattle. So there's still a few things that I still need to get for the car. That's going to happen really soon, boys and girls. So you guys will get the update on that. Well, after we have sourced a few parts for the E36, I want to do another review of the car, show you guys all the issues that we have and how we're going to tackle them. So I really hope you guys are still excited for that. But yeah, I really just wanted to give you guys an update on the E30. Oh, guys this car looks so gangster <laughs> i've never been in love with the car before boys like this especially to think that it's a car that i own boys oh it's really madness oh it just looks so sick guys with an update with the merch i just want to show you guys what i did with regards to the merch uh yeah there's a few changes that we did to the style of the hoodies in fact let me just show it to you guys right now so yeah guys uh this is a big size uh, it's a special delivery uh, that I'm still going to do. But yeah, guys, the big thing that you guys will notice on the hoodie now, the logo Snap of Chance uh, is gone, but we went with the design of just Chance. And at the back, it's still the same design. However, we just changed the font of Chance and 787. So there was a bit of an issue. Pilo, you guys know Mr. Pilo, you guys met him when we were at Lima Fest when he gave me the sample of the hoodie the first edition of hoodies and then uh, i wanted to order a bit more of the hoodies but there were a bit of complications with the communication and there was a big delay and i really wanted to push it hard guys because it's winter but now we're nearing the end of winter so my boy jay you guys know jay with the yellow mark one he assisted me with another distributor of hoodies so yeah that's when we decided to change a few things on the design of the hoodies and yeah that's where we decided to delete the actual logo of snap with chance and just go with chance also the font changes and all that and yeah guys before i also forget to mention the previous design uh, that Nbilo made for us was what he was using vinyl and uh, dtf direct to fabric and these ones are screen printed so what i hear is screen printing though it is more costly but it is going to be way more durable it's going to last way longer so i really wanted to improve the quality of the hoodies guys just so that there's no future complaints about the vinyl or the material peeling off so that's why i actually also invested more time and more costs or funds to doing screen printing so yeah guys that's why the design is slightly changed and it took more time to produce boys and girls so i really hope you guys will appreciate that so yeah guys but the hoodies are ready so if you guys really wanna order hoodies hit me up right now because i still have to work with uh or getting a website or using other platforms like shopify that's what you want to do so that's what i'm planning on doing guys but oh it's just been a lot of work that i've been dealing with because i'm doing this all on my own guys uh, i have to edit videos to deal with the merge there was a delay with the merge that i just got now so i'm still gonna work on the website so that you guys can order the hoodies but for now if you guys really really want the hoodies hit me up on my ig and then we'll work something out if you guys are in johannesburg so that's the way forward for now guys it's a temporary thing until i get to sort out the website so yeah boys and girls 
but however guys don't get me wrong i'm still gonna work with mbilo on designs he's so sick with designs mbilo from orotube za you guys should go check out his youtube channel my boy is pushing out the content as well so huge shout out to mbilo huge shout out to mbilo actually for this design that we did like the whole design and you shout out to elusive mr ricky he's the one that actually made the illustration of the bmw e i don't know if you guys still remember that and yeah guys so don't think maybe there's any bad luck between me and below nothing whatsoever he's my boy we're still gonna work together we're still gonna push out more sick designs as time goes but i really just wanted to push the hoodies guys because that delay actually held me back and yeah that's why i went on another source to get the hoodies and get another printing company to design well they actually worked on the design that Mbilo had and but I had to also pay another sums of money to get the design on the system and then have to pay again well guys it's a lot of things it's a lot of work that went into producing these hoodies but I'm not gonna pull you guys with all that you guys just want the hoodies I know so if you guys want to really order the hoodie hit me up on my ig we'll work something out uh where we can meet up and deliver that until i get my website or the site that i can use well for you guys to actually order the hoodies but yeah and also a huge shout out for mr j mr j actually helped me out to find the distributors of hoodies where i ordered the hoodies where to take them to get it printed so yeah guys uh that's the story about the hoodies i hope you guys understand uh, but i really apologize guys for the delay because everyone has been asking me what's the update with the hoodies guys have been wanting to take out the hoodies it's just been taking a lot of time so that's why i actually well that's why there was such a delay with the hoodies boys and girls but yeah i've been working my app off behind the scenes running those errands meeting up with the distributors dealing with the designs and all that but yeah listen to me now i said i don't want to bore you guys with that and here i am continuing but yeah that's the story with hoodies and yeah guys uh yo, i think i've spoken way too much on this video however guys uh the title and thumbnail we went to a meet i think it's stance lifestyle they hosted an event a couple of weeks ago so i'm gonna continue the vlog there boys and girls we're just gonna skip there so yeah guys please enjoy that video don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel boys and girls and yeah sure that car is so beautiful boys Sheesh. before we jump on to the next part of the video i want to also thank post Pre and jermaine for helping me with installing the parts jermaine assisted me with getting the extended lip and post Pre helped me installing the the parts the extended lip and the mud flaps on the bmw e30 boys and girls and yeah apparently guys I, I don't even show this car a lot anymore so i actually should have been showing it to you guys uh, while i'm speaking but hey man yeah guys go watch the second part of the video hope you guys enjoy it please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel boys and girls <laughs> still on the road to 20k subs 20 000 subscribers and yo guys i want to thank you guys a lot on the on the support on the previous video you guys are really excited of the bmw e36 i'm just as excited boys and girls i really want to see that car transform take shape and get it to that point that we all want to see it at so yeah that 328 is gonna be wilding in the streets boys and girls just let it just wait for the process hope you guys really enjoy that series that bmw build series that's about to come and yeah okay boys i think i'm done for the day now well i'm done now but yeah go enjoy the second part of the video cheers guys yeah, my boys, we out today at a stand me. We have a lineup of other cars. Hey, are those cops? Conquest boys. Static boys. But yeah, yo, there's a lot of cars, guys. Guys, there's a clean E36 coupe, hot top. So sick. Mark 5 in red with the R32 bumper. Looking so sick though. Hey, cheers, boys. Hey, Mr. J, Mr. J, Mr. J wants a polo, guys. Well, I think you guys know uh, Mr. J with uh, hey, Mr. Kingsley. Stop Kingsley. Okay, guys, I think you guys know Mr. J with the yellow Mark 1. He now wants a polo, guys. And my boy, Mr. J, you gotta go through with this one, my boy. Two examples of clean polos. Shit. Let me just hide the sun there. 
But yo, oh, my boys, look at this. On BBSs. Yeah. And we have this baby of mine. Yeah, guys, we did a few things. Uh, shout out to Postplay, we added the mud flaps. Shout out to Jermaine, helped me source out this extended lip. Got it, installed at Postplay yesterday for a different look of the E30. Looking hella sick. Back boys. Yo, oh, guys, there's a lot of cars here, you know? This might be a long, long ass vlog. I just do it. Met up with the gents just now. Came through with the Mark 1. Static boys. Sheesh. Thank you, Buffett. Hola, hola. <laughs> Another polo. I think they're matching wheels, even. They're looking so, so sick. Another bag. Is it a bag polo? Eh. It's a bit hard to vlog, guys, with the traffic passing by. Sheesh. This is sick, guys. Polo on bags. What? Damn. Is this a GT? Polo GT. I love these OEM wheels on the Polo. The GTS. R TSI on bags as well. Fuck. So clean, guys. Ah, Mr. J. Twins Lawn Fan. CTR Radio. Boys, there's a lot of cars that I still need to capture. Is this an M3? Hey, 330i. But yeah, CT Go on the PBS 15 inch wheels. Looks hard. Yeah, sucks. Guys, look at this fitment. Ooh, wee. That's us. This is that Pope fitment, boys. Sitting on the tire reminds me of the Kia. <laughs> this is a limbo boy. Oh, my boy is scraping the hell out of this car, guys. It's flipping low and it's static. Shit, another polo. Oh, so, so many cars are still putting in. How's it? How's it? How's it? Yeah, <laughs> How's it, bro? You good? Easy, easy. I'm good, how you improve? Easy, easy. Yeah. Body? Are you nice? I'm good, how you body? Which cars did you buy? On the low stickers. Oh, on the low stickers. You'll see there, bro. Yeah. On the low stickers. Alright, alright. Are we agents? The cars are sick. D46 wheels. On a Mark 1, pretty, looks pretty sick. 46 Ti. How's the agents? Jeez. Oh. Always gotta appreciate the Mark 1. Clean Mark 1. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Jay, where you at, my boy? On the low. These are on the low, boys. Shit. Another polo. Guys, there are so many cars here. Damn. Hi, hi, hi. Mm. The Chevy Utility, my boys. I don't know if he's on air or is he static. But it looks like he's static. The static boy. Gotcha, what got You guys know this photo with the blue, blue chrome wheels. Oh. Hey. Polo GT, VW Up, Lowest Class, 7 GTI, with a two-level roof. Oh, shit. Jetta, Jetta 2, this is clean. That's how it is. Polo R. Oh, there's a lot of raving happening, that's right. Uh. In fact, let me just finish these ones here. You guys know Mr. Kingsley's Mark 1 with the Smurf Blue looking clean as always. Another Mark 1 on that BBS wheel. Did I shoot these cars, guys? Oh, this wheel looks fire though. VW wheel. Low EM. 
Mr. Smurf, you guys know Mr. Smurf with the TSW wheel. This car always looks clean. Sheesh. Two door. Polo. Guys, why do you guys do this thing there? Where you guys put the number plate on the... It's had a clean hole, bud. Shop it, shop it. Easy. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you, my brother. Appreciate it. Can you share a review of one of my dogs' car? Yeah. Which car is that? Gold lentils on a green color. Guys, why is this wheel so seen on so many golfs? I think there's like two or three golfs I've seen with this wheel, the polo wheel. Looks hella hard. Mr. Sebastian's Mark 1. Look at this one. Hey! Ah. Yeah. Yeah. How's my bro? You nice, buddy? Why do you look like you have stress, my father? No. What are you stressed out? Oh, the feet are killing now. Okay, okay. That one again. No. Thank you, my brother. Pity girls love stand. Pity? I'm easy, bro. You? Thank you, thank you, my dog. Makwan with the auto styling wheel, Coke fitment. Oh, something smells like tires. <laughs> Guys, there's so many cars. They are. Chevy with the motorsport wheels. Should I even go that side, guys? I'm already tired, honestly. I might just walk around and not say nothing. Oh, this chair looks keen. With the E. Is it 36 or 46 cabs? know that but I don't my coins on the rocks how's it how's it bro you good how are you mr sebastian <laughs> another polo on bags boys I know you guys love this stance content yeah 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 what up are you good chance? what's wrong with your eyes my boy what's so early Working. so early chief. what you mean Pull on the AMG wheels. Oh, where should I go from here, guys? Oh, that's all. This is key on the Alpinas. You guys know this TT, you've seen it before. Stents boys, that's static. You'd be surprised, it probably is static on the Eagles. There's my boys, E34, E34 Prince. My boy wants me to put this motor in my car, guys. 3.5. This car is clean, boys. On air suspension. Jeez, my boy. Okay, my boy. Oh, the Cooper GP. I've never seen this car in person, guys. With that uh, wider, wider setup. What the car are you? What the car are you? What the car? <laughs> how's it? How's it, bro? You nice? Easy, easy, easy body. Oh, likewise. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. How are you? Ah, getting one on the Mini Cooper wheels. Looking also oh clean. Hey, my boy. My boy. Nice, body. Nice. Sorry, my brother. And the value steering wheel. See, my boy. Hella nice. Yeah, what with the MTX uh, speakers? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Another one on the left hand side. This Mark 5. You guys know this Mark 5 GTI. With the AMG wheels. FSI turbo. Oh, looks so clean. Awesome. Five is five. You guys better know that. As I just spotted this clean polo. Looks like it's those um what wheels are these? Like the Maybach wheels, but in like a 15 or 17 format. Oh, looks hard. 
This is the car that I'm mistaken for an M3, but it's a 330CI. G string in Tatia Migs. Yeah, guys. Oh, boys, I'm already tired. I don't want to lie. Mm. My boy should be what, giving me these wheels, though. I wish I'd get them for the E36. Oh, looks so hard. In boy. One, my boys. Clean, clean, bro. These boys are loud, man. Oh, that might be a straight path, guys. Sheesh. Clean, boys. Steady, boys. This GSI looks sick. I like these wheels. Get them for the Kia if they would fit. Someone sell me those wheels. Uh, this one looks clean as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm Mr. Tillin. Uh, <laughs>